I'm Paul Nguyen. I'm a radiation oncologist at Dana-Farber Brigham Women's Cancer Center in Boston, and I'm a professor of radiation oncology at Harvard Medical School. For men with biochemically recurrent prostate cancer, I think that the treatment paradigms are going to be more personalized in the future. I think that this whole one-size-fits-all idea that everyone has the same benefit from salvage radiation and hormone therapy uh, is being challenged this year with very good data that's been coming out. One piece was by Dan Spratt that came out as the Astro Plenary, looking at patients with a very low PSA and asking the question of whether they benefited as much from the use of hormone therapy with radiation. And then uh, at this year's ASCO GU, one of the plenary presentations was by Felix Fang, who looked at the RTOG9601 trial and reanalyzed by the Decipher score and found that the absolute benefit in, uh, in, uh, for the use of hormone therapy seemed to be greater uh, for the patients who had high decipher scores rather than for patients with low decipher scores, assuming that their PSA was less than 0.7, which is really most of the patients that we're seeing today. I think that radiation and hormones definitely help some patients in this setting. Uh, and I think what we want to be able to do between genomics and maybe using some of these PSA markers is really try to individualize which patients benefit the most and also think about which patients need even further intensification from there. Mm -hmm.